Today on How to Film, I'm going to walk you through the pre-production process for creating a simple short film that is only one scene, one shot in fact. This is how to film a YouTube video or anything. Recently, I filmed a project called The Town. It was a very simple short film. Really, it was like a mock trailer, a mock teaser trailer for a film that doesn't exist. And it was kind of a horror style type trailer. And it stars Ashley McGee. It was written by Ashley McGee. And you're going to see it. But because of the simplicity of this project, I want to use it to walk you through the creation process. Now, there's three stages of creating a film, a narrative, a TV show, or anything. It is the pre-production, the production, and the post-production. Today, we're going to focus on pre-production. Now, the very first thing you need is a script. The screenplay is the blueprint for your whole project. The old adage goes, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. So you start with the script. If the script isn't good, you need to stop right there, go back and fix the script because it's not going to get any better from there. Once you have the script, you need to create a storyboard or a shot list. Now this is basically just a checklist of all the shots that you need to get the, the coverage for the project. So when you go to edit the film together, you're not missing pieces. Um, a lot of times you see storyboards, they look like a comic book, something like that. Here's a storyboard for The Fixers, which is a web series that I work on. And you can see every shot is listed out on here and then compare it to the final shots, which are here. You can see it's all pre-visualized. Now the town is just a one page script and it is just one shot really. Uh, when we go to film it, you'll see that it's actually two shots that we have to merge together and fake it like it's one shot. But because it's one shot, we didn't really need a storyboard. We just needed to know the shot that we needed to get. After you have your storyboard or shot list, what you need to do is script breakdown. And this is just simply the process of reading through the script and listing out everything you're gonna need on set when it comes time to shoot. So that way uh, you have costumes, props, you have uh, special effects makeup. When you're on set, you don't wanna be going, okay, who brought the fake blood? And everybody's looking at you like, uh. And then you have to tell them, well, okay, we're gonna use real blood then. Yeah, we don't want that. Now, besides those two checklists, you're also going to need to take care of everybody uh, outside of the creative process. In other words, like people need to eat your cast and crew. They need to have transportation to the set. You need to secure a location and you need to take care of, you know, all that kind of stuff so that people don't get cranky because there's nothing to drink. Okay, once you have all those details in place, then you can make a call sheet. A call sheet is just simply a sheet, like this one here, which is also from the fixers, and it lists all the cast and crew that need to be there. It says what time they need to arrive on set and what's expected of them. It also has some extra information like uh, where parking is available, what the weather's gonna be like that day. This is not super exciting stuff, but it is very important if you wanna get anything done. And the final thing you're going to need is a cast and crew contact sheet so that everybody on set can get a hold of anybody else on set, you know, whether they're stuck in traffic or they need to make a, a run for uh, supplies or something. It's, you're just going to want to have it. And this is also something that you're going to want to keep because, uh, you know, months or years down the road, you're going to be like, oh man, who was that guy that did that awesome effects makeup on that project we did? Well, look, I have the cast and crew sheet, I still have his number, I can get a hold of him. This is uh, something to put in the Rolodex file. What's a Rolodex, you ask? Uh, go ask your grandpa. Okay, that's pre-production in a nutshell. Now that we're prepared, I want you to come back next Monday and we're gonna talk about production, which is where the real magic happens. I'll see you next time. I'm Jeff McClellan and this is how to film a YouTube video or anything.